Hey everybody, in this video we're going to look at conditional styling. Conditional styling is a great tool, especially helps on the learning curve. So in this example for conditional styles, I'm going to show you how you can take one plain field and turn it into a more descriptive field. So let's do that. Let's start with the warehouse. So I'm going to go to Tools, Personalize, Conditional Styles. You can see I have a bunch in here already. I've been busy. I'm going to create a new one. The target field is going to be based off of Warehouse. And it's going to be a text comparison. Even though it's a number, I'm still, I'm not calculating anything with it. I'm just basically looking at it and then having the system do something else. So I'm going to say when the warehouse equals a specific value of 911, I'm going to trim the blank spaces. Then I'm going to click on this text icon and I'm going to type what I want it to say. It's always great to put in the original value and then hyphenate a description afterwards. That way when you're looking at someone else's screen it all makes sense to you. The preview shows you what it's going to look like. Then I'm going to click on this, show original value as a tooltip. A tooltip is when you hover over something, you'll see the original value. I'm going to hit next, finish. I'm not going to fill this out here. Finish. And there it is at the bottom of my screen. I'm going to hit close. And now you can see instead of 911 it says contract warehouse the tooltips the little blip that just pops open when you hover over it let's do another one on my high statuses I don't have any descriptions over there so I'm gonna go ahead and add one so instead of just saying 90 I wanted to say 90 close deleted just like this one but you know what I'm gonna go in and copy it to save me a little bit of time tools personalize conditional styles that was low status 90. What we want is we want it for the high status as well. So I'm going to hit copy and then target field is going to be high status high status equals 90. Next. The text is already there so I'm just I don't have to type anything at all. Next. Finish it's there on the bottom. I'm going to hit close and now I'm going to hit refresh. There, now all my status 90s all have descriptions right next to it. You can do some really cool things too, like add signs and exclamation marks and highlight them green. Let's do a couple more just to so you can see what you can do. What I want to do now is I want to highlight all my status 90 orders red. I'm going to go to Tools, Personalize, Conditional Styles, New. My target field is going to be my low status. I'm going to use numeric valuation. And sometimes you can experiment. If it doesn't work, flip numeric to text or try a different route. But if it's a field that contains a number and you want to do a calculation, you can use numeric. Pretty sure text would work well in this one too, because I'm not really doing a calculation. So I'm going to say if the order status equals a specific value, which is 90, I'm going to trim the blank spaces. Next, I'm going to take the field and turn it pink. And then I'm going to enable the style for the entire row, hit next finish there it is at the bottom close and look at that all my stuff is red how about this how about every facility that says PNW I want you to put a green brick next to it let's do that one tools personalize conditional styles new target field is facility in this case we're going to say text when it equals a specific value which is PNW next I'm going to put an icon there and it's going to be a green brick next finish close 
and look at that there's now a green brick there and when you hover over it, it says PNW but you know what let's see if we can get it to say PNW and the brick at the same time tools personalize conditional styles we're gonna edit this one next we're gonna put tech next finish close and there you go PNW now I'm going to get rid of my conditional styles because this is just going to drive me crazy if I have to work in this system looking like that and they're pretty easy to delete I'm just going to go through to conditional styles I'm going to highlight one hit delete and let's just get rid of some of these guys anyways thanks for checking out this video and if any challenges creating one of these just shoot me a note and we'll see if we can get you through it